This is a Decentered Media vlog with me, Rob Watson. Conversations about community media. Visit decentered.co.uk or follow on Instagram and Twitter at Decentered Media. Hello. Um, you the good thing about the mic. You don't have to project into the, okay. the camera. Am I looking at you or the camera? Look at me, look wherever oh, you okay. want. It looks odd when you look at the camera because I always yeah. look at the camera so I kind of... Yeah. Anyway, it's Saturday the 27th. I think so. And I'm with John Prest. I'm Rob Watson. I'm with John Prest of... Who are you from? I'm from Seed, but today I'm just Johnny the Market Wanderer. <laughs> OK, and we're just going to spend a little bit of time just having a, a chat and a wander around the market yeah, and yeah, kind yeah. of just do some some stuff. Kind of vaguely, so I'll, I'll I'll kind of follow you around, okay, and capture your, uh, your you know. So so you come to the market. Tell us a bit about <coughs> your kind of background with coming to the market. Yeah, so I've, I've been coming to the market now for about fifteen years, on and off for fifteen years, and I kind of it took me a while to really get into it. So I used to, I've always lived in the city centre area, and I used to come in and get bits and. <laughs> Never really got my head round about how much to buy, what to buy. You, I'd get it home and some of it had gone off within a day or uh, trying to get used to buying bowls. But as like after being a graduate and stuff, saving money, I thought it's a really good place to save money. It's probably only until about sort of six years ago I really started getting into going to the market. Um, and that was because... Well, you know, <laughs> it's like a fixation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. yeah. Um, I really got into it um, basically because I hate waste. That is the main thing. I totally hate waste. And food waste was the main thing. Um, and so I got into like book cooking in bulk and learning how, how to cook with the food so it lasted longer, what to buy, when to buy, going seasonal. And then in more recent years, the main, my main priority now is to go plastic free. Okay. So completely plastic free. And you can't com go completely plastic free in terms of like, you know, that camera's plastic. I just drove in here in a car which is 60% plastic. When, you, when I talk about plastic free, I'm really it's thinking- Disposable stuff. Packaging really. It's packaging first and then throw away items that you kind of consume or use for a year or two and then it goes, basically it will go to landfill or to the sea. So here, um, if you want to pan to the market, this is the starting point to go plastic free for me because the main, I'm, I'm not vegetarian, I'm, I'd say I'm probably more flexitarian. I mainly have a, an 80, 90% plant-based diet and I do have some meat as well. Um, but here is you get all your fruit and veg from here and obviously you've got your meat market there. So it comes in bowls, bring these things, bring your own bags and everything. Go, so I've got my own smaller bags for fruit and veg here. Got my Tupperware for meat, and then come here every week, get to know everyone, and this is where it all starts. So, so try and, as you walk around, just try and describe it for us a bit in terms yeah. of. So, what, so for somebody who's never been to Leicester before, what would they? So on this, they this so I go to different places. So everyone sells slightly different things. Mainly over here, you've got a lot more. Well, it's actually a mixture of stuff. Mainly over here, you wait, you get it weighed. So if you want it weighed. Um, then you could do that and then on this side here on the left it's mainly bowls but then you've got speciality stuff in the middle here so you've got different types of pumpkins here um, there's different types of potatoes and everything I mainly go to one place because everything I need is at this one stall and we'll go and see oh, them now that's us walk they're going to probably wonder why I'm do you know film, people as well? I, mean, I do they're... know a few people here, yeah. Some people have changed through COVID, though. Um, some people have gone, some people, new people have started. Because um, there's yeah, definitely a lot there. more veg stalls than there's been for a while, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it, 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 over through COVID and lockdowns, it got smaller, <laughs> but it, it, it's now going back to normal again, and there's more, more stalls and stuff here. Well, if you, um, see, if you see anything uh, you know, that's interesting, <laughs> point it out to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll try and go seasonal where I can. This is Michael here, he serves me every week. How are you? We'll yeah, film good. you, is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, you can get me on record, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, here we go, he knows, he knows so the score. John's vouching for your amazing prices yeah. and quality. Yeah, <laughs> so, just give me one second. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, so yeah, you've got like, I try and go seasonal where I can. I'm not completely, I'm not, you know, great. I still get bananas, mangoes, everything. I'd like to go seasonal, but it's not as, it's not as easy to do that all the time. 
got to find my list now. Um, but I remember it. Um, and yeah, so I try and avoid anything wrapped in plastic if I can. Right, so we'll go okay, well, we two potatoes. Uh, two bowls, yeah? Two bowls. We'll go one reds, one whites. Does not want to go in that to go. No. Uh, I'll go... Two. Bowl of white and bowl of red onions today. No, no red onions today, just the potatoes. And then I'm gonna go yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go two collies. Because I'm doing two cauliflower curries over the next week. And then we'll go two bananas. Uh, the Easy Peel Satsumas. Oh, I've got some mini nice ones in. Quite Five for a pound. So two pounds worth. Uh, just do one pound worth of those. Go for those. Um, and one blueberry and one coriander, please. And that's it, really, you know, like, if you come prepared, bring your own bags. The, the hardest thing that people find it is carrying it around, but I find it's part of my exercise now anyway. I've got the right bags, get them over the shoulders. And we're British, we don't have trolleys. When you see the Chinese and Japanese students in the yeah. town, they've got the guys who've got trolleys with well, them. Well, there's one right there, like that, like that. Yeah. So the only reason why a lot of people don't have trolleys, and they sell them over there, is because people that they don't look cool. Yeah. However, that's my next goal, well, is to try and... Well, we should talk, because I've got to make it look like a Land Rover, and it'll become yeah. really macho, chunky wheels and big... Make it look like a boombox. Yeah. A bit like a boombox. Yeah. But do what it needs now, though. It needs, to have, it needs to have shelving in it. Because yeah. I bring my refill bottles for the refill shop, and if you if you have all your fruit and veg, it, it all gets crushed. So I need to speak to the university, maybe DMU, and get a student yeah, to design, design me something, yeah. and then, I'm, then sell them on the market. Yeah, is that uh, blueberries, coriander, and I think that'll be it, Michael. Okay, fantastic. So seventy-four Just check and see if I've not missed anything. <coughs> no, 1070 for me, please, sir. Thank you very much. And when it gets down to Christmas, it gets wicked down here. Like all the Brussels sprouts, chestnuts, music. It's great. And I park, there's loads of parking nearby. You can get quite close to the market. People don't realise, they always go to the high cross, but. You buy the curve and the Athena, you can get right up. So I literally just walk over and I'm here, carry it back, a bit of exercise for the weekends. 11, 12, 13, 15, 20. That's the change. Delivery brings it over. <laughs> Straight into the Service, house. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Michael. Nice well, one, Dave. That's all there for you. Nice one. See you next week. Bye bye. And then, so, how have you seen it change over the years then? Do you know what? I haven't seen it change at all, and that's why I love it. It stays the same. I think people, it gets a bad press because it's it's loud, it's it's kind of bustling, and it's just like, you know, it's, it's different. It's a different environment. I love it. But like, there's produce here you can't get anywhere else well i've done stuff where you kind of say to people what's the what's the unique sound of leicester you know it's like if you go down to the pier head in liverpool you've got the ferries and you've got the yeah. seagulls and stuff like that and the river yeah and the only thing i can ever think of in leicester is is the market yeah it's the shouting it's the banter um uh, some people it's really alien it's a, it's a bit full on but i love it um, I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot le i mean when i first came to leicester <coughs> 30 years ago nearly and it's like there's a lot less veg stalls now so this all used to be veg stalls right fruit and veg stalls and there's and when they knocked down the 
old indoor market yeah. uh, a lot of the shops the small shops moved out had to move elsewhere yeah. and they've set up the stalls for things like the shoes and things like that here mm. now so it's you know there's it, it is different there's a few head shops uh, and things on the market and you know a few more empty yeah, bays that they've not it, filled it, yet. It, it, it's not fully uh, yeah. as big as it used to be now but during the week though you get there's a lady who sells free range eggs yeah and there till not that long ago there was an italian lady who came and sell italian breads so i think there's i think the artisan side of things is something that's missing. I think people would like, if people were bringing down like cakes, pasties, pastries, bread, I think that would bring a few different people. But for anyone that cares about sustainability and zero waste and wants to remove plastic packaging from their life, I think this is where it starts. Yeah. But you, you know, there's, it, it it's, comes with its complications. So what's it like when you go into a supermarket now? All I see is plastic. I hate it. It's a sea of plastic, and not ju and, and it's not just plastic. It's it's non-recyclable, single-use. That's the the real problem here. It's the stuff that you can't get recycled. So, phase fi phase one for me was just stop buying it, and stop buying it. And it's been all right, you know. I've actually I can still get pasta, rice. Um, don't get don't get anything in packets now. Say like garlic bread. Um, I'll make my own garlic bread. For salad, there is some salad bags that are compostable and recyclable. You've just got to find it. And there's different brands. Um, it's totally doable. And actually, it's not been as hard as I thought. The, the, the thing that's going to be difficult is um, recyclable plastics. And now that it, that's what I'm working on now. Yeah, because they, they, I was in France a few years ago and the market there, I think it was in Nantes, we were using those biodegradable green bags to give stuff to people. Yeah. We're still using the blue plastic bags still you they still use plastic bags here yeah. and I, I do see other people with their own bags and then you'll see here today i bring my own tupperware for the meat market but not many people the key with this is is to i think to give market store owners a, an alternative show them an alternative and subsidize it because they don't want to do it out of their own pocket it's a for them it's a they've got enough going on to, to completely change the way that they pan like they give produce but there is other methods there is other ways and if we there could be a stall on the market that just sells and these bags and it's or not, gives them away i mean leicester's free. not full of waitrose shoppers is it it's no. not some leafy market town in the southeast with millionaire i mean there's plenty of wealth in leicestershire and stuff yeah. but leicester itself is is low on the income scale mm. uh, so you, you sell them produce at a discount when you come to the market it's at four o'clock you know, and everything's been sold off really cheap because they don't want to keep hold of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people who rely on that because yeah. it's a good way of getting yeah. it. And the thing for me, you know, for me, it's, it comes down to lots of different factors. There is a bit about cost. I do save a lot of money. It comes down to definitely about waste. Um, I think there's produce. The produce here, you can't get anywhere else. Like, if you go to the, the West Indian stall or some of the Indian stalls, there's things on there I don't even, I can't even pronounce. I don't know what the name is. And I love that. I love that you can get all these different things. Um, but actually, being, the, the, having the fruit and veg here, and then, you know, you have to go in the meat market to go, oh, well, this is a whole different world. Well, let's go and have a look let's at that. Right. Let's <coughs> make sure Everybody's okay with me filming. Just yeah, no, to... you'll be alright. Yeah. You okay, right, Vanessa? I'm getting filmed today, so you don't mind being on camera, do you? Hello. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Yeah, you? Good. Right, I'm going to go for some sausages. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'll go for the chipolatas and I'll go for 14 chipolatas, please. Stick them in there. Oh. How many customers do you get here that do the same as me with the Tupperware? There's not as many as there used to be, is there? Yeah, good, you? Really? But the, the great thing about coming here, I've got, the, I've got Vanessa's mobile number. It's not on... She's on speed she, 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 gives, she gave it to me, I didn't take it. <laughs> but, um, but then I, I put my order in. So I, I often get like brisket rolls to do salt beef. I do, um, do a wicked brisket mince that they do and they double mince it and I make burgers out of that. And then do all sorts of orders, don't we? I'm your favorite customer, aren't I? You are our favorite customer. You are. 
Yeah. Family's good, yeah. Getting ready. Having five weeks now, four, four weeks, five weeks to the birth. Yeah, I know. I know, but my daughter was five weeks early, so I'm ready now. So well, it's the 7th of Jan. Yeah, so it's five weeks. Yeah, number three. Got to, I've got to pick up a new car in the week. Yeah, got a bigger car, a bigger car, yeah, to get them all in. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't get this at Waitrose, would you? You wouldn't get Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys. See ya. Bye. Oops, sorry. And then I would normally buy fish or poultry, but today I'm just going to get some sourdough. <laughs> with the, the great, great bread here. <laughs> the sourdough as well comes in compostable bags. So you can just compost them. Hello, you all right? Yeah, can I get, um, I'll go for a, a wheat and rice sourdough, sliced if that's all right. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, cheers, thank you. But again, like Christmas biscuits, great down here, like pork pies, all the chutneys, like specialty cheeses. Well, last uh, year, amazing. we had the queuing system in place, because I've been in here, in here when it's been rammed. Yeah. And the queuing system is much nicer. It got served quicker, you yeah, could yeah. choose, you weren't scrumming in to yeah, yeah. <laughs> those, those yeah. are the days. The only thing that's missing, in the old market, there used to be a tripe stall, and I'm not sure whether anybody sells any tripe anymore. Still get tripe, I think there's some tripe right, right, oh, right there. Okay. Oh, well, I might come back later and, yeah. and, and get some. Yeah, you get all sorts of offal here. And, and, and you can order it, a lot of it, as well. No, that's fine, thank you. Here you go, thank you, cheers. Thank you. Hi, So, uh, awesome. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Boom. That's it. You good? Yeah. <laughs> so, in just your thoughts, really, in terms of bringing about go, change. Go over here. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Because you're not exactly dressed for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're going to bring about change and we're going to encourage more yeah. people to um, to shop differently and to think about, you know, kind of how they buy things differently and, and what they buy different, um, yeah. how are we going to communicate that? How are we going to get that? I think the first thing for me was I've got to do it myself first. I've got to see that it's possible because I think the, what, the, what, the thing you've got to, everyone's got to realise, if you do want to change your lifestyle and you want to change your behaviour and your, the way that you shop and the way that you buy food and you do want to reduce, say, single-use plastic from your life or, or you just want to be healthier, you've got to, you've got to start at home and you've got to realise two things. It's not going to be cheaper and it's not going to be more convenient. You have to realise that. Okay, so it, although the meat and veg is cheaper, to do all the other things, like the pastas, the rice, everything else, it's more expensive to go refill. And that's the way it is at the moment. It won't always be forever, but it is at the moment. So you have to accept that. But for me, it's about, you've just got to do it. I've got to do it first. I've got to know what's possible, what's doable, how to do it. And then I suppose then it's about educating people. It's about educating people. And I would say the key is to do it bit by bit. So start off with, say, your fruit and veg. Just get your fruit and veg from the market, start with that. Then maybe start getting your meat from there, get your bread from there, and then start moving to the other things. And the great thing about doing it this way is you just start eating whole foods, you cook more, you eat better, you stop buying packets of things. By changing the way that you buy, it will change the way that you cook, and by changing the way you cook, it will change the way that you eat. But it is, it is a process and it does take time. You can't, if you try and do all of it overnight, it becomes overwhelming and you just end up giving up. But I'd say for me, like I st on a Saturday, I go to the gym, I then bomb over here, 
do this, get in the car, I'll go home now, have lunch, and then I've got the rest of the day to do whatever. Like, it, it doesn't take that much time out of the week. And also, if I can't do a weekend, I'll just come in on an afternoon in the week. I'm lucky I work for myself, so I can do that. The other thing they were doing, though, in the lockdowns, they were doing delivery. So you were getting a box, a £10 box of fruit and veg, um, and it had a mixture of different things in it, and that was all single, that didn't have any single-use plastic in it as well. So I don't know if they're still doing that, but that's the other option. For people that can't get down here, it'd be great if the market could try and work together and think of a way to start looking at a delivery service where they could come with a box of fruit and veg, but then I know Keith, where we've just been, he does delivery. He yeah. still does delivery. So there's that option as well. Yeah. So we've got a long way to go, but we've got to start somewhere. Yeah, we've got to start now. Yeah. The key is to start now, start little, start learning how to do it, <coughs> and then, and then you know, it's, do it it's, bit in, by bit. In many ways, it's about unlearning what we've had with supermarkets over the last 40 yeah. years, and maybe going back to relearning some of the things, that, the skills that yeah. people had about using markets in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Where you had to, you know, you didn't go by the sell-by date, as important as that is, yeah. but you went by the smell and the texture and the, yeah. the feel of the food because you could directly... Yeah, go and ask your grandparents, how did you shop when you, were, when, you, when you were young? And it's like this, you'd go to your local grocer, you'd go to your local butcher, you, they'd wrap it in paper, and you'd, or you'd bring, something, you'd bring your own bag. It's exa it's, it's, this is not different from what it was 30, 40 years ago. It's just that society and the systems changed. The key is when you go to a supermarket and you want something, look at it, okay, and think, right, look at the back first. Does it have the recycle symbols on there? There's lots of few different symbols. If it doesn't have them, you can't recycle it. I'd say just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. If it's garlic bread or it's a packet something, think, can I get this a different way or can I make it or can I live without it? That's a good starting point. So make sure you can recycle the material. And then beyond that, think, is there a, is there a better packaging? Could I get packaging with cardboard or a tin or something? And then beyond that, start thinking refill. So start buying big jars, big containers, and find your local refill store. And in Leicester, it's Nada. It's just down there. And I normally go there, but I went to the one in, I went to the Eco Village in Market Harbour yes, uh, on Thursday. So I don't need to go today. Okay. So, which way are you heading now? Are you going back? We're heading to the car. So let's walk through. Yeah. And just point out anything that you think is interesting, and then, yeah, yeah. then we'll wrap up at the the other side of the market. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you need any high vis pants or jackets? No. Don't I tend to avoid the high vis jackets and the uh, the jeans and the uh, iPhone cases. Um, but if you are if you do need that, then it's here or some luggage. I don't think anyone's going on holiday for a little while. Um, so yeah, we'll walk right through. This, this middle store's great here. So like, there's lots of herbs, spices, like herbs, um, lots of different types of veggies, which is really, really good. Like the things like avocado, you, some, some days you can get five avocados for a pound and they're amazing. And if you know how to keep avocados, how to keep them fresher for longer, stick them in the fridge, blueberries, like, you know, five avocados for a pound is amazing. And also massive, massive punnets of blueberries for a quid. You know, if you get a tiny little punnet of blueberries in supermarkets for a quid, tiny ones, the other thing is, like, they're not wrapped in plastic, so you can bring, they put them in paper bags, or you put them in your own bag. You can put them in anything, any kind of packaging, anything, Tupperwares, you can bring here, and they'll put in here. Okay, last thing, how do people get in contact with you? With me? Yeah. Well, where's this video going? It's going to go up on Decentered Media. So okay, so, YouTube. if you, for me, just as Johnny going to the market, it's just Johnny P and then you'll find me on social media. But if you're interested in the work that I do in terms of communications and marketing and the, that type of work is Seed. So type in Seed Creativity or Seed in any platform, you'll find it. Failing that, type in Brand Master Flash and that will lead you to Seed somehow. But yeah, that's the best way to find me. You've been watching a Decentered Media vlog with me, Rob Watson. To find out more, go to decentered.co.uk or follow on Twitter and Instagram at decentered media.